Dear friends in Christ, I welcome you to today's reflection. Our verse for the day is taken from the Gospel of Mark chapter 6 verse 22. It reads, When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guest. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. The verse we just read is part of the story of John's imprisonment and death at the hands of Herod. Herod had contracted an adulterous marriage with Herodias, the wife of Philip, his brother. John the Baptist had reproved Herod Antipas and Herodias of this adultery. It angered Herodias especially and he took advantage of a birthday feast given by Herod where her daughter had performed the dance. The king was gratified by Herodias' daughter's dance and swore to give the girl anything she might ask. And then Herodias instructed her to ask for the head of John. There are two points for reflection today. First, the dance of Salome, the daughter of Herodias. And second, the value of life. To the ancient people, dancing usually accompanied by song and instrument, was a communal activity. Dancing was partly for amusement. It was also a means of worship and praise to God, which we know as ritual dancing. Dancing could also be a weapon of war, especially when the Israelites rejoiced over victory. The dance of Herodias' daughter was purposely for amusement. There was nothing wrong with the dance, except that she danced before a drunken Herod Antipas, meaning that Herod was not sober when he offered to grant Herodias' daughter whatever she asked for. One of the negative moral effects of drunkenness is loss of control. Loss of control of one's senses could also be called gluttony, meaning the art of indulging in excess of anything. The desire or want of the excess of anything can lead to brutality, evil cravings, violence, unnatural desires, vulgarity, grief, madness, destruction, depression, and even death. Herod feared John, respected and protected him, and as such, he would not have consented to the demands of Herodias if he was sober. Lack of self-control led Herod to sin, committing the sin of murder. It is in the context of the loss of control of one's senses that the value of life becomes cheap. Every human life has an inestimable value, says Pope Francis. The life of a rich man has inestimable value as that of a poor man. The life of a child, of a husband, of a wife, of a beggar on the street ought to be protected. No human life is cheap and no life is worth wasting. A genuine question for us today is, how do we value human life? What motivates us to appreciate our life and the lives of others? How did we find ourselves in our present predicament where human life matters no longer? Like the drunken Herod, we have lost touch with the inner part of ourselves, with the truth about human life, and are now floating in disordered and disoriented domains of experiences and world. The rationalization of human life where everything becomes experiential, that is, where we pursue life only in terms of benefit, has expunged us of the dignity and sacredness of human life. The respect we have for our own lives impels us to respect other people's life. We pray today against the spirit of drunkenness, of avarice, desire, greed, materialism, covetousness, anger, lies, hatred, jealousy, and pride. We pray God to bless and protect us and keep us away from evil that can lead to the destruction of human life. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shalom.